Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Romek, and welcome to the Bloodborne Born Remastered. Strange game to play, I know, but I really like this game. Um, I've been jamming out some music really like hard as of late, so I thought I might as well play it now. Episodes of this series are going to be long as hell, um, that's just the nature of this game. But I really do like it, so hopefully you'll join me for this. And you might as well get straight into it, so... Yeah, um, I have got all the options still up super high. This was originally a Wii game, so if you were wondering, as for you know, why certain things may not look the greatest, this game came out in like 2009, and it was remastered, thankfully, by THQ Nordic for modern consoles. So, um, with that, we might as well go straight into it. Straight into story mode. Um, we have 10 levels to get through today. And not today, but in the series. And we're starting off with Last Resort. Um, I have a story to tell about the stage, so we'll get into it there. But in the meantime, let us, yeah, there's two side missions, I'm just gonna do the main missions. But, yeah, let's get straight into it, and, uh, yeah, let's, uh, play the ball. Um, it has got a cult following, as far as I know, I'm one of those people too. Um, I just recently got the game super cheap, because of some sales. And yeah, well, yeah, without further ado, let us get in to the ball. <laughs> yeah, you can choose what music plays in your level, but I'm gonna go with the d default ones for everyone. They fit the best. Huh? Yeah, I will admit, uh, the cutscenes don't have any dialogue in, but they feel very, like, reminiscent of some of those old, um, Lego, Lego Star Wars-ish cutscenes. But anyway, um, this was a beautiful holiday resort, but inked to controllable colour. And, um, the game loaded before I could go through the thing that is going to be a common theme. Um, I have not familiarised myself with the controls, so, um, welcome to the revolution below, I'm Professor, leader of Core Underground. Inked Corporation have taken over all the core out of Chroma City. With your help, you can restore the world using core energy. We must hurry the time shows how long you have until Inks tracks you down, so that's why that's there. Finish your mission and get to the exit pool before time expires. Let's make a start, we'll up, smash a paint bot to get the core. It does look quite nice, um, considering. So, how to get core, LT to target a paint bot, A to slam it. Um, I understand. Again, I, re I originally played this game with Wii Remote, so the fact that I'm not shaking certain things is gonna be, uh, quite weird to me, but I'll, I'll get the hang of it. Yes. Got the same little clunky controls, some would say, but... Yes, yeah, so as you paint things, the music slowly comes into the level, and that is arguably this game's biggest selling point. Yeah, so we get the little transform engines that will help us decorate what we're doing. So I launched Core Energy to launch a transform engine, and we have to go smash that thing into next month, and yeah, as you can see, the music's already starting to pick up, but what we got to do is essentially... Okay, wrong button to skip, but you get the gist. Yeah, so you can run around, you can paint the trees, the trees look a little bit nicer, you know, you paint paint anything you come into contact with, and sometimes buildings will have little residence in, so it's, it's nice. Um, again, it's been a while since I've played this game, but I do want to get the hang of things before we uh, get right into it. Again, I'm wondering what achievements there are for this, but I think... Um, oh. Okay, so do I just lose? Right, so yeah, you lose core whenever you go in there. That is um, another thing. I want to I paint everything around here, because I'm not going to be like 100% completionist, but I don't want to spend like hours at a time on a level and not get certain things done. I get, and it kind of sounds like an oxymoron, because as you can see, the timer for this level is originally 9 minutes. It goes for a lot longer, let me say as much. We might as well uh, launch the Transform Engine. Probably my favourite part of this game. You just run up something, smash into it, has a little nice cutscene. Bam. Everything gets done that you haven't already done. And get the little gradients, whatever they are. And is there... Yeah, so that thing over there hasn't been painted yet. I don't think there's a way over there. And if there is, I ain't wasting that much time trying to figure out how to get over there. You can smash those guys for even more paint. So mind the gap, you'll need to jump across, yeah. Otherwise we lose our paint. Like, you can hear the music slowly picking up the more of the level we complete. Um, 
Yeah, the controls this game are a bit weird, but... Alright, I'm Zip, I'll show you how we roll in the revolution. We've prepared some challenges for you to, for you to help put the last whole day result back the way it was. Well, to recall some underground symbol like the one behind me, and press X to get to become core of the world. Okay. So yeah, we get little challenges and they add to our time limit, which is quite nice. Again, I am planning on playing both games, um, I really like them. So, a whole lot of RC, those are the four people we've met now. Um, I'm cool expert in the group, it's nice to meet you. This one's a holiday resort, it's been so cold nobody goes outside anymore. Paint these buildings red through the gradient straps inside. A summer paint bot get cooler, and it gives us two minutes to go do that. So we just come on in, as you can hear the music slowly starting to pick back up. And seriously, I recommend if you aren't too big of a fan of how this game looks, just play this in the background, because I can guarantee you, you'll be jamming out in those time. Yes, yeah, so we get a little bit extra time here. And the gradients should be over here. So you have to run over them to actually like, liberate them, and they'll run around quite nice. Um, I mean, you don't run into many enemies this early on. Then. But that's generally how it goes, so... Um, yeah, it, it will notify you in the film release. So. Um, gradients liberated, again, same thing. And as you can see, I, I won't build up the uh, music a lot more in this. That's the time pick up, so let's get, some, let's get some orange going on in the middle, why don't we? Um, I have a feeling Artie's going to tell me to absolutely go and undo everything I've just done, but um, that's fine. Yeah, so transform engine time. They'll pop up at random times when you complete certain objectives, which is fine. Um, yeah, so that, it, that leads into the next area. And it's been years since I've played this, so it's really weird to be playing it again. But I'm, oh, oh, free this lot, and we'll see what they have to say. Again, I want to get as much time as possible, so my challenge is already complete, thanks. That is the one thing I remember from this game super early on. Um, Yes, yeah, so when you go to a new area, the music level drops slightly as well. Yeah, but let's get into it. Um, let's paint some more stuff, you know, yellow, see how it is. Um, yeah, like I said, I do want to paint everything. Like, painting everything in this game is just part of the package. Um, there is a little fan project on Twitter, um, run by someone, I'm not sure who they are. Um, I have never spoke to them directly, but they did like one of my tweets where I was talking about the soundtrack, so... Hey, shout out to you if you're watching this. And, uh, yeah. So you can hear the music already starting to kick in. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure for some of you Die Hard the Bob fans, you know exactly like what's happening right now and all that jazz. Um, but I'm trying to explain this for people that may not have seen this game ever, because as far as I'm aware, um, it, what this wasn't the most popular game. I, I remember it being like the talk of the town for a while, um, though apparently that was never the case. I remember it being full price at Asda, though. That, that was the one thing I remember, and I bought it with my birthday money, and I loved the hell out of it. Um, however, um, I. Um, I love the hell out of it, I only played so many levels, and then I just kept going back and playing this level. Because, um, there was a certain enemy, which we find that we'll run into later in the game, should I say, which, um, <laughs> really scared me when I was younger. Uh, I'm sure some of you will have an idea what it is, but, um, <laughs> I, I literally stopped playing because of that enemy. Um, it, like, freaks me out so much. Um, like, in, in all honesty, it still does, don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah. Yeah, you got a core pickup. You add it to your core energy. I quite like grabbing the things around it. Hey, anyway, the music's already starting to pick up. It feels really good to hear it all like come together. And, hey, blue. So Prof can crack it open if you earn enough core energy. Yeah, we've already done this. I, I ain't gonna like be skimping around on the things. I, I bloody love this game. You can see, look at, look at our work. Love it. Again, um, the levels do get harder. It's not it's not just go paint things for an hour. As as wonderful as that would be. But, boom, all the trees get done. Again, it basically finishes up all the extras which you wouldn't necessarily paint. So, um, if you have enough core energy, smash that gate open. Yeah. As you can hear, the, um, the music level drops whenever you go to an area with less core. 180 seconds extra. Let's go. Loving it. Okay, well, you got through this gate. Well done. This just wants the hotel districts. Uh... Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Propaganda tell that broadcast ink wires um, shut it down. Yeah, that was my favourite thing to do on the week, because you had to physically shake the remote. Um, let me get there, I'll explain it in more detail. Yeah, we're going to do the challenges in this area and move on to the sexy gate. Um, use a compass, okay. So, again, the way that they've mapped this to an actual controller is really good, considering this was originally a Wii exclusive. So, luxury host hells, uh, blue, yellow, and green. And I remember one block was being, like, pretty mental. Oh, that's that. Alright, so let's, um, I, I like stocking up on that core energy, what can I say? And, okay. Yeah, so, again, it, this, game, this game may or may not have helped me through, uh, well, I would say GCSE art, but, like, B-Tech art, eh, probably. 
I, again, that probably made no, that made no sense out loud. Um, it's kind of hard to get yellow without accidentally smashing into the other things. So the lock on in this game can be a little bit meh, but yes, yeah, so we just gotta paint those three. Oh, a little bit laggy. I, I right, come on, please just stop running over things that I don't need to. I get, I'll get faster at the game, don't worry. Just a nap of that, and I should be. I swear there was a different challenge here, but why is it? Okay, so the camera is mainly controlled by where you're, wherever you're running. Um, strange little camera, aren't you? Right, well, so let's do it then. Um, doesn't seem like there's any specific requirement for me to paint certain buildings, certain cores right now, so, um, let's continue. Yeah, give me that game. Again, I like paint I got like, going around and painting everything. I really like the way everything stops sounding at that point. Ah, oh, great. Oh, things been ruined. All right, oh, so let's go around here, paint some of this. Yeah, I got a little bit of this going. 25% of the level already painted. Damn. Um, <laughs> was not expecting that. And no, oh no, let, let me up. How oh, cool. Yeah, okay. yeah, so you have to keep smashing things consistently, by the way, in order to continue painting. Yeah, so adding more cores to a block earns more cooler energy. I did not know that, but now I do. I know, ah, okay. You're here at Chroma City Needed, or more places you can call it. Yep, uh, camera control hasn't been the greatest thing for me right now, but I'll do it. Okay, rooftops are the safest way to travel. Slope's building behind me. Okay, so we need to be yellow, and I need to get it done in 90 seconds. Let's go. Uh, uh, no, I, I want to get all the outside though. All right, fine, fine. Yeah, but uh, they aren't wrong. Traveling on the rooftops can be the most useful thing to do in this game, because you just avoid enemies that show up later on. And we got our transform engine. Hell yeah. Yeah, uh, see, music's coming back. And in each little core has its own little musical stems. It's really fun. Um, you got all the way up here. You were born to jump. Please paint this row of hotels green to bring the core back to the neighborhood. Cool, Adley. Um, though I swear it was the other row of hotels, but I guess I've got dementia. Yeah, look at him, he's having a little party of his own. He's chilling. Yeah, but I, again, I quite like painting everything. It's like, I got OCD probably. Uh, what completed? There you are. And I don't think these guys show up on your radar, so they can be a little bit of a pain to deal with, but... Right, let's get going. Oh, this is going to paint this whole block. Music proper comes back when you do this. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna pick, be painting with my vibrant brown. Brown is probably my least favorite color in this game, next to black. Um, okay, see, proper jamming out, aren't we? Yeah, give me blue. Love, love me some blue. Um, so is there anywhere that I haven't properly painted? Oh, right. It says the odd sides of the building. That's fair enough. Wow. Okay, look at him. Look at the time of the lives. Nah, come on. Let me up. Let me up. Thank you. And uh, yeah, come on. I, Damn it, how am I meant to get up there? I obviously want to get up there, but I'm not sure how. <laughs> yeah, so you can paint all the little things too. It's uh, it's quite it's quite nice. Again, stuff like that um, pattern, whatever it is. Um, no point, no right. We're not, we're gonna leave those. I know it might annoy people, but the transform engine just gets rid of it in the end. It's fine. Please don't crucify me, the ball enthusiasts. Yeah. Um. So these fossil-looking type things. Um, and there's the enemy. Oh, what we, okay, right, you're not at the gate, um, further down the level, meaningful. Yeah. But, um, what was I gonna say? Brain's just gone. Yeah, but this should finish clawing anything that I wasn't able to. Which is nice. Anyway, got a bronze medal, hell yeah. I'm not gonna go for, like, paint everything in a level achievement. I'll probably go for the Dump Die Once achievement, if anything. And gate unlocked, so we can literally just run to the end of the level now. Of course, I don't want to do that, I quite like doing all the missions. Not painting every building though, it can be a pain. Uh, propaganda Towers, Ink to Landmark, Radiant Citizens, citizens Economy. Um, so we basically have to be a certain colour and have so much pain and then ruin the day. Which is I exactly up my um, alleyway, so we just target it and then we mash A in there. Let me check the remote if you were here. And it goes boom. Hey, it looks a bit different, doesn't it? Yeah, you know. Yeah, hop on out. Yeah, he's having the time of his life. So many things. I've got a transform engine for the end of the level already. My God. <laughs> I think, I think I've done more than what was expected of me. I'll be honest. <laughs> Let's continue. On to part three or four of the stage. Again, this ain't meant to be a long level. Next goal, 70,000. Ha, 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 ha. 
Okay, trouble with a hedge, better collect some wife pickups. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Uh, you got a wife pickup, get as many as you can. Yeah, they, they can be useful, but I'm not sure if... Uh, do you lose a wife or do you just lose the whole level when you uh, die in this? I'm not sure. It's a, it is a tricky question indeed, but let's just carry on. So, obviously we... Uh, oh, wait, wait, where's the... I wouldn't release them, there's still ink in places. Yeah, billboards, hell yeah. Love them. Oh, where, where has he gone? Yeah, so you obviously don't want to go in the black. That's like... I, th I, th I think that's quite obvious, luckily. Yeah, so we can paint down here whatever we want, I like to think. Um, uh, let's get around here. Yeah. I don't, I don't fancy leaving something unpainted when I know I can. Ah, no, no, no. Yeah, the controls are definitely more designed for a Wii remote, not gonna lie. Which explains the, uh, the suitable level of jank, as one would say. Okay, so I need to look out for when it says Gradient's released, and then otherwise I don't need to care. Uh, okay, that's out of bounds. Uh, everything, everything is yellow. <laughs> not yellow, orange even. God, I'm playing the bob and I don't know my cause. That's gotta be difficult later on. And, uh, come on. And there we go. What completed? Yeah, okay, we actually got some here. Surprised we didn't end up cleaning up that ink. Um, nah, that's fine. Let's carry on, though. Um, so, do a few more of these, and let us. Let's just see what is needed of, of us. Right, so they look so drab and grey, paint all the build purple, hell yeah. It's a two star challenge. More core energy, the part of the challenges. Fine by me. Yeah, so you gotta um, not avoid, not go into the water, surprisingly. Um, if you do, bad things happen. Because you lose your core. <laughs> I am not a fan. As you can run all the way around there, you know, get a little bit up in it. And I quite like the early game part because there's not as many, like, countermeasures in place to try and ruin your day. Uh, so let's uh, smash some of those. Uh, you just gotta jump and hit them. Ha! Okay, there has to be something I can hit. And you can wall jump in this game, though. It, again, it comes with it comes with its own level of junk, one would say. Yeah, the videos of this are gonna be long. Let me tell you. Visceral pain. I need water in a hurry. I don't need water. I need blue. Thank you. Right, you stay away from me. Right, uh, can we go on the rooftops here? That'd be... Oh, I can. Right, good. Yeah, we're painting the walls. Music's all coming in. This isn't my favourite track in the game by any means, but it's a nice tutorial track. Because, yeah, this longest hell level is literally the tutorial. Um, just for one more time, because, you know. And the levels aren't exactly the most... I'm gonna fail the challenge. Genuinely, I failed to paint like five buildings purple. Retry challenge, yes. <laughs> okay, get that. How am I meant to touch that without, you know, dying? Finally, right, we got him. So he has like war jump. That makes more sense. Right, well, let's carry on. Um, there's a few more challenges I want to do. I like doing all the main challenges. So many for Marcy. So these be the core of coffee, paint all the buildings in the street brown. Okay, it's fine by me. So we need yellow. Yeah, let's go. Ah, coffee, my favourite thing in the world. So I, I don't have a problem painting them the core of coffee. Ah, yeah, well, uh, yeah, turntables going in it. Oh, do not mind those at all. And come on, slummy on that. How's that not the end? Oh, it is. And it'll take a while for me to get used, properly used to this game, but... Uh, and one more mission for Marty. Uh, fully with ink, um, the shrimp inside their apartments, paint all the buildings in this street green. Okay, it's a three-star challenge, so... Um, so we need a little bit of red, and we need a little bit of yellow. That's not how you make green. Uh, that's fine, we need to come over here anyway. Um, so, right, how do you make green? You need blue and yellow. I know core theory. <laughs> ah. I, I, right, I guess we're painting all the buildings on here yellow. I mean, we haven't actually done anything with them, so I ain't complaining. Yeah. Loving it. Right, it's the core complete, and just gonna complete. Right, so one problem I have with this is there's not much of a uh, 
input as for when you accidentally run over one of those core bots. Literally, the biggest gripe with the game I have is the fact that I'm too colorful for my own good. Um, so I'll paint all down here first, it's easy. Uh, nab some of those, get in here, um... Okay, actually, that's fine, that's fine. Um, you can make this work. Well, look at me, look at me. Painting up a whole ass holiday resort. Love to see it. Touch the ground? Mission complete? Again, the amount of extra time I have in this level is going to be insane. And uh, let's carry on, though. Oh, one more area to do, and then we are done. Um, yeah, so I think all the buildings down here are, like, sufficiently called in. Is that, is that, is that a remark I'm allowed to make? <laughs> I've just undone all my work, but hey, it's fine. Yeah, there's so many gradients. That's a hobby that isn't being trapped inside a building. Uh, I'm just gonna... Uh, I quite, yeah, gold medal, that's all I came for. I came, I saw, I conquered, I smashed the hell out of this game, just for good measure. There's already a transform engine here. Beautiful. So it, normally this is like the end of love. This is, again, it's a tutorial. So paint got transmit, transform it, and we'll get our cool HQ out of here. Okay. And I think we just need like, yeah, so we'll call energy, slam the exit, pull weed the area, just so I remember. And this is the short level, and there are much longer levels starting next time, but let's, uh, let's see what he has to say about the, uh, the matter of this. So, prime target, Controls all paint pots in Chroma City. Uh, paint pot transmit your yellow and hit it with 50 paint points. I think that's fine. <laughs> I love the goofy little animations they have. It's great. Oh, it's got the same feeling as Shake in the Wii Remote. That's the one thing I was like hoping for is that it gives me the same feeling as Shake in the Wii Remotes in this building when I'm mashing a button, and it, and it does. Anyway, wow, it looks completely different. Yeah, he's having, he's having a boogie. Yeah, it looks solid. Again, they changed this design up for the second game, which I'm fine with. But the only other thing we gotta do now is uh, transform this area. And for luck, we're about to turn, we are done. I'm gonna grab that pattern while I'm here, because I can. And yeah, nice little uh, intro level, I'll submit. You know, you can look upon your hand, no, you can't look on, look on your handiwork, can you? Um, wonderful. Well, it ain't like exactly game ruining, but you can uh, you can look over there, see your handiwork on the skyscraper you weren't able to reach. Um, yeah, it's getting depressing. Let's just let's just hit this and jump on him. Yeah, I didn't paint the airship, but it was kind of out of my reach. So completed last resort, new best time, new best score, eighty-six percent painted. Those be buildings which I wasn't able to reach, and achievement unlocked last resort savior. So you got again. So at uh, time needs to have. Uh, complete under eight minutes. Spiles we got most of. Trees we didn't get most of. Blimp uh, and radians. Um, oh, oh, honestly, it's an okay thing. Um, story level up town, freak paint last resort, and cutscene last resort. Uh, streets board breaks. I forgot this game. I bought for you. Secret mission seaside roller. Secret mission top of the world. See, I am tempted to do up town as well, but I know it's going to take an hour, so I'm going to cut the episode here and I'm going to immediately record up town after because I love this stage so much. Um, so yeah, last resort is okay, you know, I can chill. But next time, join us for Uptown. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a thumbs up, post subscribe, to notifications, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of the board. Uh, I really do recommend picking it up, because it isn't all that expensive uh, if you know the right places to look. Uh, obviously, you know, support the original developer, don't go for credit card forward. But, um, yeah. So, with all said, well, that's like, hopefully you'll join me on the rest of this journey. But thanks for watching, guys. My has been Ramek, and peace. Out.